let's try this again. Get my chat loaded up. All right. Can y'all hear me pretty good? What am I streaming in? That's why that looks crazy. All right, you can hear me good. I need to do this. I need to move my chat. Give me just a sec. Give me just a sec. Give me just a sec. My All right. So, what is happening? Volume should be good. If the audio is low, hold on. Let me crank it up a bit. So, how does that sound now? Better, 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 better. It should be better now there. I think I got it. I'm looking on there. I've got it cranked up. There we go. So what's happening? I thought I would do just a quick little Q&A uh, with some things to come. I don't typically do this, but I've gotten like some products kind of all hit at once. And you know, for people that are just maybe finding this channel and curious of some stuff I've got coming up, you know, and they're watching this, they'll know what's about to happen. So I've got about, I don't really have them all stacked up in front of my face, but I guess I can start pulling things out and show you what I've got coming up here pretty soon. Oh, uh, let's see here. So not done in any specific order. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Question, do you shave your head? Yes, I do. I have to shave my head. I know it looks like I'm permanently bald and probably right there up top I am, but on the sides it still grows in. You can see that little bit of shadow growing in there, so I need to hit it with a razor again. But uh, anyway, so some things I've got coming up right now. Uh, first of all, of course, I'm going to have the Rebirth. RTA from Mike Vapes is coming up. Um, and these are all going to be, I'm shooting for within the next week and a half. Uh, also, as you've seen, got the bulk fixing to come up, another RTA. Got another RTA. Of course, Steam Crave just sent this to me, the Glass RTA. This one will be happening here pretty soon. Uh, also, they sent two products. Actually, they've got a third one they're sending, but it's coming from China. They've apparently got out a new 23 millimeter single coil RTA. But uh, also this one right here. I believe uh, Batman did the review on both of these a little while ago. So got those. I haven't even had a chance to build on them yet. But uh, those will be coming up here pretty soon. Also... I can't forget, and you've probably seen me use these here for the past week or so on the show. I've got the Beep coming up, which is an awesome device. Um, of course, I'm spoiling the, the review there. Also, I got the Enikin EQS, which is the smaller version of the full-size EQ. That should be a good one. I have not even used this one yet, but this one is also coming. I've got the Enikin uh, Zlide Tank. And this one right here, again, I have not used it, but I'm excited to use it. And I'll show you why. If I can get, man, they pack their stuff good. It is this little 22 millimeter mount to lung tank. And this thing is built solid. I mean, 
it's like a little chunk of freaking steel so pretty cool uh like i said i'll have to start using it here just shortly uh, a lot of this i've started on using but there are a few products that i have not had a chance yet to get builds put in anything like that any new mods on the menu at the moment I'm trying to debate whether or not I want to do a video on this. This is one that's been out for a little bit, but as y'all know, I'm a big boxer fan. Uh, I've got four of them now, but I just received the other day, I just got the Lipo Edition one. Now, I might do a video on this, not so much going into the board itself. It does have a DNA 250C in it. Uh, but, you know, I might do some kind of video on it um i have tend to found because i've been doing youtube long enough that for some reason people seem to take a lot of offense to higher price tagged items and a lot of y'all are in chat that i know that have been in chat for a long time y'all probably seen the comments yourself people just tend to they get pissy about shit and get an attitude about them so and it's not that I'm concerned with that, because if I was concerned of what people thought or what they wrote and I took offense to it, again, I wouldn't do YouTube. So, but I think I am going to do a video on it. Again, not really so much a review, just kind of my take on it uh, and my day in and day out uses with it. You know, again, not really so much a review, uh, but yeah. So really not a lot of hardware because if you've noticed, there really hasn't been a lot of hardware come out of here lately. Um, again, probably more pod systems than anything and that's about as close as you can get to, I guess you could say a device. But um, I'm trying to think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't forget, I can't forget. This one will be coming probably, I'm thinking tomorrow. I've got to get my sidekick from Sense done. They sent these out right here. Like I said, I'm going to have a mixture of pods, a lot of RTAs, an RDA, and some other stuff going on. But you know what? Hey, if it's products that you're interested in, you'll watch a video. If you don't care, don't watch it. I guess that's as easy as how to put it. But, uh, so... Other than that, not really much has been going on, not from last night since I did the show, but I do have products coming and I'm, I'm trying to get everything together so I can start cracking videos out. Again, if, if you're somebody new that has just stumbled on my channel, uh, I give you just a little bit of a back history on why I'm doing what I'm doing right now. Uh, I work a lot of hours. Uh, I can't crank out the videos like some of the other guys do it because I'll be perfectly honest with you, after a long day's work, the last thing I want to do is come home and sit in front of a camera for anywhere from two to three hours trying to video, edit, and get a video put out because I've already done a full day's job and then to have to tack that on, I mean, it's just hard for me to do. That's why I don't crank out a shitload of videos, but things that get sent to me, I get them out. Not the quickest, but I never claim to be the quickest, and I'm not going to claim it right now. But I do get stuff reviewed, uh, and I try to show a lot of stuff off on my live shows too, and you know, kind of talk in depth on things where I tend to get more of a viewing audience on my live shows anyway, so what better place to do it? So, But... And I know I don't have to explain myself or pretty much say that, but still, I, I like to be open about things. And again, if you're somebody new that you're stumbling on this video, you know, you'll kind of know how I operate. So if you're somebody that's waiting for the latest and greatest to hit the day it hits the mailbox, I'm not the person you probably want to subscribe to or wait around on. I tend to have stuff for some weeks before a video gets out on me, and that's the way I roll. Uh, the way I look at it is if you're interested in my take on a product 
it really won't matter when I kick it out. Now, I'm not talking about waiting months and months and months before I do one. But again, I'm not somebody that does it uh, the day it hits the mailbox. So, but what else have we got going on? Oh, I probably, I know I held the box up, but there is that bulk right there. As you can see, I put on my little heavy tip there. Oops, I'm in top chat. I need to go to live chat. I might have missed something. If I have, I have, I don't know. There we go. Uh, no, I don't do the, uh, I don't, I'm not, and this is not a knock at anybody. I just don't do live reviews. It's just, it's, that's not my thing. For some people it is, and I don't, I don't give them any shit if it is. I like to record my stuff. I've invested some money into my recording stuff and into editing and stuff like that and I'm gonna use it so but again if I didn't hold that there long enough look at that pretty heavy tip on there and I've actually come to find I put that on there this morning and this thing I like even vaping it more now mm-hmm I know that was a joke, but still, there are some people that ask me from time to time about, hey, do you, uh, you know, what about live reviews and stuff like that? So, you know, uh, heavy tips, your favorite drip, uh, heavy tips, your favorite drip up. What the hell's a oh, drip tip? Excuse me. Uh, they're, they're good. They're damn good. I don't. I'm kind of torn between a few tips that I have, but I got to say, once I started using these, I have used them quite a damn bit. I've even some things that I typically have drip tips on, I have taken off to put my heavy tips on. Now, I've only got two. I have not put this one into service yet. Haven't quite found the one. Even though when I picked this one out, I thought it looked pretty cool. I just haven't found what I want to put it on yet that gives it that nice matchy look. So I'm certain I will sooner or later. But um, what else have we got going? So I showed you what product is coming up. Um, so what else? Y'all got anything going on good today? And right now, am I near a window? Yes, I am. I'm in my office and I got... I got a big, huge window right here. Typically, when I do my shit, I do it in the evening so you don't catch all the sun going on. But now that the time change has happened, and again, I don't normally get on till later in the evening where the sun's gone down. So, uh, thing is, I've got a big, massive window. It's not like one just little window. I've got a freaking huge window in my office right here. So there's like multiple blinds hanging up. I just don't have a, uh, I don't have anything else up there because the blinds I have up look good in the office the way they are. So, uh, funny enough, there is a slide tank that color, I think. Oh, really? Hmm, I'll have to check that out. Now, one thing about the slide tank, I was talking to Matt the other day, and I'm sitting here as he was talking, and I'm looking at it. First of all, the drip tip on this thing, and I know my camera's not going to do justice at the moment on it. The drip tip is pretty cool. It's a frosted tip, but it's got these little, looks like uh, somebody got a paintbrush and just did like dabs of white all the way around it. It looks freaking awesome. But I'm sitting here and I can clearly see that little red arrow right there, meaning for me to push that thing over to open the top fill. So I'm pushing, 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 and this thing's not going. And I'm not one to read instructions and I'm not one to sit here and really ask questions. I wanna figure it out. And it should be pretty much common sense that I should be able to just slide that over and this thing open. So finally, after about 15, 20 minutes and me getting more and more agitated with it, I look at Matt and say, Matt, 
how does this freaking thing open? And I come to find out there is just a little, little piece off of the bottom of that drip tip. You got to pick it up just a hair. And then, of course, it slides right over. So, again, sometimes you just got to, you got to suck it in and ask questions instead of sitting there fighting with shit. Even though I'm more pig-headed and I'd rather fight with something instead of asking that question. But, oh well. Uh, do, 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 did was hard to sign that one too? And it was like, yes, it's him and Dimitri, both. They did this one. They also did the beep. Um, you know, they've done a bunch of products with Anakin right now. But I know there are people right now. Well, I know some people that I've talked to personally that's messed with this line, and they've all seemed to love it. They say it's a great little mouth alone tank. And I might even put some juice in it tonight and give this thing a go. I hate to have so many things going at once, though. But uh, I'm kind of at that point where I'm fixing to break down. Another thing, uh, I showed you the box, but I have been using it for the past couple of days. I broke this one out finally. This thing, for one thing, this thing is like sexy looking now. I love the way it looks. I love the size of it. And I don't know if y'all can see that, but I've got EQs all lined up here on my table. But I'll give you a quick size comparison. It's probably not that drastic. Let me try to do this a little better. Ugh. Not too drastic, but it is smaller. But the vape on the EQS is so much better to me, and here I am just pretty much doing a video, than the original EQ. But there are some cool things about this one that I will show you in the review that I'm liking. And again, this is one of those devices that's not auto draw, so you would think right off the bat, oh shit. But there's kind of a twist to that. And again, I'll bring that up in my video. So again, all this, I hope to have everything I just named off done within at least the next two weeks. I'd like to get some stuff knocked out. I'm going to have some free time coming up this weekend that I think I'm going to devote to uh, getting some things out of the way here that I need to do. So y'all should be seeing some more videos cranking out from me. I need to put some juice in this thing. Another thing that I've been doing too, and I think I mentioned it last night on my show. Uh, I got to keep up with what juice is what here. I think that as much as I've been loving Nick Salt, and not that I'm giving it up, but I think I'm going to take a break from it. I think I'm going to roll with this higher Nick. I've been running 12 to running 50 Nick Salt. Uh, I've kind of noticed, and it I know I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna kick myself in the ass for saying this, but I don't give a damn. I have noticed myself coughing a little bit more here lately. And the only thing I can contribute that to is is Nick Salt. <laughs> because I've been doing it quite a bit. So I think I'm going to take a little break. Uh, I've really been enjoying 12 milligram and these pod systems here. And it could be that's just what I stick with from here on out. So looking and sounding great. Estate. Well, thank you very much there. I don't have myself up on the screen, but I do thank you. I am running a, a different program at the moment, so it's actually allowing me to film, uh, well not film, but uh, stream in 1080p 60HD. There you go, Jimmy. Yep. I I can only imagine, and, and lately, like I said, we all got this newer juice in, this Baker's Vapor stuff. And typically, 
I think he kind of even messed up. I think he normally would have sent this to me in an 18, but he sent it to me in a 12. And I'm kind of happy he did because I've been real satisfied with this 12. Uh, on top of it's stuff that's in my flavor profile, so I've really been enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, I know I'll probably need some shades here in a minute, won't I? That sun's just about to do. I got to work on that shit right there. But, and then you can hear my creeping chair going on too, so. Uh, I had to give up Nick's salts because they made me cough, I guess I'm having a... I just think that, uh, I think what I've done, because I kind of increased my levels, and like I said, when I started on Nick Salts, if y'all remember, probably, what, say almost a year ago, I was doing strictly like 25 to 35 in that area, and really more towards a 25 to 30 area. The vape was nice, but it still was lacking a little bit. So when I bump things up to like between, you know, like the 48 and the 50s, I was really like, damn, I'm liking this. The thing is, it's so damn smooth, you just don't realize it, and you can just kind of keep going to town. And I am bad about sometimes, like if I'm really concentrated and doing something or whatever, man, I just sit there and keep going and going and going. And then I realize, oh shit, I start coughing my ass off. So, and that, that habit started getting more and more. So what I did was I said, you know what, I'm going to try these right here. And I've been doing this now for probably, I don't know, let's say what, almost two weeks now, a little less than two weeks. And the coughing has kind of like ceased almost. So I kind of think that the, this is about what I'm going to roll with now. So. And I'm not trying to scare anybody or say, oh, don't do this, don't do that. But I'm just telling you my experience. And it's kind of funny because it's held this trend with a few of the other guys. And again, it's, you know, it's kind of like a, you're constantly searching for what works for you. So again, I've had to search for something else that... uh will satisfy my needs, but not give me the uh, after effect of what it's been doing to me, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, me and Brian probably do need some type of intervention. We do uh, we do get pretty crazy on some of this shit. I, I, know, I know Mike, well, Mike does it pretty much too, but Mike has stuck to like uh, ghost stick and stuff like that. He doesn't mess with the Nick Salts at all. Mark doesn't even really mess with it either. When Mark does a higher nick, he's typically like what I'm doing right now. He's at a 12 or less. So, so you enjoy the mouth to lung side of AP more than the direct lung. I enjoy both. I don't really, I don't claim to say that I like one more than the other. And I know there's a lot of people that have thought, damn, he's strictly like pods. He don't even mess with direct work. But that is, that's complete bullshit because when I go to work, I do take a pod with me. But like the past week, I'm taking shit like this too. And I'm hitting this more than whatever to a pod system. It's just, again, like when I'm here in my office, uh, I don't like fogging it out. And it's easy to fog this place out quick. And for the way I do vape on stuff, again, me direct lunging, I'm kind of a person that, well, I mean, here, I'll show you. I'll show you all two devices. I'm running this one at 90 watts. It doesn't take long for a room to get jacked up. This one I'm running, what am I running this one at? 90 watts. Again, the way I vape, and if y'all kind of keep an eye on me at times, I'm somebody that I kind of chain vape on stuff. If I'm chain vaping this shit right here, y'all won't see me pretty soon. 
Plus, I've got somebody else that lives in this house, meaning my wife, and I respect her wishes. And it does piss her off a little bit because she does not vape. And the last thing she wants to do is walk in here and this place, the lower floor of our house, be, you know, just completely fogged out. So that's why I enjoy doing my uh, pod systems. Barely see anything going on. Just like that. There's my boy, Mikey Vapes, right there. What's happening, brother? But when I first started doing all this stuff and vaping, I had my office 180, the way it used to be. So I actually used to face a wall right here. Matter of fact, it's this wall that you see right here. I used to face that. And the way things were set up, when I would vape, like I was just showing you doing like direct lung, I was blowing it towards the wall and things were getting kind of like captured over here. So it just would stay kind of contained in this area. But now I've spun myself around and the outer portions of my home going this way, things tend to drift out like that. So open a window? No, not open a window. Because there's two things in the south. It's either cold as hell here or it's hot as hell. And like right now, it is 86 degrees here. And we're in the beginning of April, which means we're going to have a hot ass summer. So I've got my AC running right now. Not trying to be a smart ass, but I just, I don't open windows. But, uh... I use Mountalung mostly out and about, makes it home regulated in the car. Yeah, I mean, it's whatever you choose to do. I'm, I'm telling you how I, I vape, but I'm also going to tell you that, how do I put this? I apply everything to a situation. So if I'm in a group of people that don't smoke, don't vape, don't do anything, but I still, you know, want my vape. Of course, I'm going to do a pod system. I can turn my head. I can politely do things without disturbing others. But if I'm in a group with like, say, hey, my boys, we're at an event, wherever, you know, it's, it's open season on direct loan. Uh, when I go to work, when I take breaks, I do my big boy stuff. Uh, and then from time to time, when I want a quick shot, you know, even when I'm on my breaks, uh, I'll hit this real quick. So, is your best air collecting dust like Mark's? Uh, no, I actually took it with me to MV and use it, but I don't use it a whole lot. No, it's more of a uh, collector's piece. Hello, Lynn. How are you doing? Got my AC and still hot. Well, shit. It doesn't sound like your AC's working. Not that it's any of our business, but what do you do for work? I work with medical implants. What other questions you got? I can't even. It's hard to put. Now, I still use the caliber like crazy. I think somebody's got a cool announcement about a Caliburn sooner or later, but I'll, I'm not going to say anything. Do, do, do. Wow. What is going on here? Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> blunt industry. There you go. I should get Mark a deal on a ping. No. There you go. Mike just announced. I wasn't going to say it because I didn't know if Mike wanted that announced. But Mike does have Caliburns coming to hit that juice. Also, he's going to have the pods you can pick up too. Uh, I don't know the exact price, but I'm certain it's going to be the same price as you can get it anywhere else. So... 
I know he said he's got those coming pretty soon. So if you're looking for a Caliburn, of course, awesome place to go. And I think 10% of the proceeds, if you purchase a Caliburn, go to my account for some reason. I don't know. Sounds pretty good anyway, but. Yep, I think he's also getting those in too. Yes, yeah, Stephen, Mike is quick. So, I, I, I've gotten quite a few things from Mike. And, you know, when Mike has sent things and I didn't know, of course, I didn't keep up with shipping, obviously. But there's been, when there's times when I order from his site and I know when I've ordered. I mean, normally my stuff is in the mailbox two days from time I ordered it. So... He, he's definitely fast. Why is it that a lot of reviewers rated the Orion DNA so high, but you hardly see anyone use it anymore? Now, here is my, here is my answer to that question. I don't know how others will. The Orion is good, but you gotta, you gotta realize since the Orion's been out, there's been a whole lot of other pod systems come out. And Mike just answered my question before I get out of my mouth. Out of all the pods that's come out, you know, I'm constantly trying. But uh, when this one came out, this this right here killed the Orion for me. This is this was the only one I wanted to use. Now, funny enough, as much as I still enjoy using this one... I have found myself, and I know I just started the other day with it, but this one is another good one right here. I have been using this one quite a bit. What's going on, Hitman? But there, I mean, there's a lot of good pod systems out on the market. Of course, there's some that are better than others. But, um... Out of everything that I've got right now in front of me, and my desk is littered with pod systems, uh, the best one by far right now is the Caliber. It's still at the end of the day. It's got everything that I want out of a pod system. Uh, how long has it been since I put my video up on this? What, almost a month now? I think I'm at, from whenever that video was posted, well, hold on, I can sit here and tell you real quick. Where is my Caliburn video? How long ago? It's been up for a month now. Anybody in chat want to take a guess what pod I'm on? Have you tried the Alien Pod Mark review today? No. I have not. That's the one from Aspire, correct? Yep. All y'all got it right. Number two. I'm on number two pod. And this one's hitting like fire right now. Still no issues out of it. And this one's been in for a bit. Now my first pod... There it is. This is the one I just started off with. And I'm actually kind of like messing with something right now. I have filled it up with juice and I'm letting it sit. Now you can see that that bottom's getting a little bit browner than what the top is. But I'm going to let this coil sit for a little while longer. And then I'm going to pop it in and I'm going to try it. Just to see what it tastes like. Because it had just started to kind of hit that point to where... The flavor was starting to drop off, and it just was getting like, eh, I think I've pushed it as far as I want to push it, but I can't believe the use I got out of it. And again, I've only seen, I think, to date, not to say that there's not a whole lot more, but from what I've seen, I think I've seen two problems so far with the Caliburn. And most places that sold this were sold out. So there is a lot of them out there. 
I'm certain there's probably a lot more that's still going to be purchased. But, man, they, they freaking killed it on this one. How long does the battery last you? I can go all day and into the night. Um, I've never actually put it on any type of time thing. But remember with me, I don't just vape a pod during the day. So uh, while using other things, my pod usage gets more when I hit the door here at the house and I'm in. That's when my pod usage really kicks in. But I have used it throughout the day. So the best way to do it is, and I can't, well, I guess I could, but I'm not going to. The best way somebody could get true life is if you were somebody that was strictly a pod user, purchase the thing. Once you get up in the morning, start vaping like you'd normally vape and vape on it, see how long it goes. That is another good one right there, and I did use that one for a while. Uh, oh, never mind. You said the Orca. Uh, this was a good one, the Zero. I like that. That was from uh, Vapresso. The only thing about this one, oh, it, it didn't seem the, uh, the wattage on it. It just it wasn't quite enough. If it had a little bit more ass in the tank, that would have been probably a close contender right there, but I wish the Caliburn had adjustable airflow. It is a bit too airy for me, but the coils are great. Uh, to me, it's, now again, I mean, that's, that's, you've tried it, so you know how you feel. To me, it's kind of got like that perfect hit. I really do enjoy it, so. And two, I'm going to try this because right now I actually am doing Nick Salt in this one. I'm about to break out my third pod. I might even do it this evening. I'm going to put some of this uh, 12 milligram Nick and give that a run in this thing and see how I enjoy it. Um, something like this, to me, it's damn good in, but I don't know if I'm going to quite get the same satisfaction out of this. I'm certain I will, but uh, I'm going to give it a run. Now, another thing, too, that, that has impressed me with this one so much, I've been using that uh, PB and Jam uh, Nick Salt. Now, the Nick Salt is no different than the, the regular stuff, the freaking three milligram. Everybody knows there's a lot of sweetener in fucking Jam Monster. That's why I guess it's so damn good, and that's why so many people use it. It's no different than in the Nick salt. So automatically you'd sit here and think, well, damn, there's a lot of sweetener. That, that freaking coil is probably getting, like, gummed up pretty bad and all this and that. I'm still going beyond limits that I ever thought of with a pod system, you know, using that type of juice. So that ought to tell you something, too. It's both, Stu. You can hit it just like this. Or the button right there, which, and you can hear it. Uh, it's quick. A lot of people don't like that button on there. I wish there was, I know Mike was talking about it. He wishes there was some way you could deactivate that button. And I kind of agree with them because I never use the button. It just serves no purpose for me because something like this right here, you can get the same identical hit off pushing the button or just doing uh, or just doing the hit. Oh, we got us a troll. Troll got to go. Hold on. Give me just a second so I can... Boot your dumbass on out of here. Goodbye. So, got rid of that. You gotta love the trolls. They always looking. Uh, 
ST, have you considered using Nick Salts in a real MTL RTA K Phoenix Hendrick? I have not tried it like that, so uh, I don't know. I th I think like something in a K fun or something like that. I think it's more that like finer things in life. You want to go with maybe like a twelve milligram nick or maybe a little higher maybe a tad bit lower somewhere in there but i'm getting to see though that 12 is is my number i went with 18 on some stuff before even though it was good but i think it was a little still too high for me i think 12 is like my my point of where things are all good why do people troll <sighs> We could do we can do a whole show on trolls if you like. Trolls are out there. They don't have anything else better to do. Uh, fifteen milligram nick in my cake fun every day all day. There you go. Like I said, I know a lot of people that use uh, K funds and stuff like that. So they actually prefer that. You know. Somewhere in that range, between 12 to 15. But when it comes to my, you know, RTAs, stuff like that, RDAs, I'm still running three. I'm never going to go to zero. There's just, I mean, um, I like my nicotine fix. Any other questions going on? I wasn't going to do this just forever just for a bit. Again, I kind of just wanted to show what I got coming up here. Um, I got to get my ass working on this stuff here, but tomorrow I will have this sidekick one up. I'm even thinking about, because I got a couple of them, uh, I'm thinking about I might do one for a... Uh, somewhat of a giveaway, maybe in a spot that I could do it without folks getting in trouble on. So y'all might want to tune into that one and see how I've managed to work that one out. But uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Nothing much else happening. I'm glad that y'all joined, as always. It looks like I've got to delete something that I started a minute ago that didn't come out correctly. Actually, I was messing around with some stuff on the screen here, and I thought that it would be gone, but as soon as I kicked it on, I realized the shit was still on the screen, so I had to kill it real quick to make sure everything changed over right, but all right, I guess I'm done babbling. Y'all have a great evening, as always. Um, don't forget tonight, I know Andrew will be live. Look, I might as well stay going now. The sun's kind of went down, so the spotlight has been turned off. But just kidding. I'm going to get out of here. Talk at y'all a little later. Let me kill this shit. How do I kill this shit? Y'all want me to sing a song before I get out of here? Mm, not going to happen. Peace.